This is a Mikuni carburetor uh, off a quad, a Suzuki quad. But the same goes for any uh, variable choke carburetor with or without a diaphragm. Uh, the old SU carburetors didn't have a diaphragm, they had a dash pot instead. As the butterfly opens, the vacuum should increase and the choke and the uh, main jet needle should open up like that. But when the di diaphragm uh, is uh, ruptured or damaged, that doesn't happen. So uh, the symptoms of uh, the failure are the loss of power, uh, running weak, uh, overheating, etc, etc, etc. Anyway, they were the symptoms that this quad was displaying. Uh, I had the uh, diaphragm out of the top of the carburetor, just under that cover. I uh, couldn't find anything wrong with it, so I thought I'd test the carburetor. I uh, can't find anything else wrong with it. So what I'm going to do is uh, fix it to the vacuum cleaner, and as I open and close the uh, butterfly, um, the uh, choke should open and close. We'll see. Now I've got the uh, vacuum cleaner turned right down. I'm holding the hose against the engine side of the carburetor and as you can see as I open and close the butterfly the choke opens and closes lifting that uh, main jet needle. So now we'll turn the vacuum cleaner up and see what it does with even more vacuum. There, the choke fully opens. So we know there's nothing wrong with this uh, diaphragm. So I can give it a quick clean, pop it back on and uh, find out what's really wrong with the quad. I hope this might just uh, help somebody and if it does uh, it would help me if you'd subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. I put the carburetor back on and uh, I tried it with a fresh fuel supply and everything was okay. So after all that nonsense it just turned out 